Okay, today we're going to talk about Events Calendar Pro and how it works with Elementor to add bits and pieces of your calendar anywhere on your site, all using the Elementor Site Builder. Let's get started. So on this site, we've had the events calendar already. We have some events created uh, with all the info we need. And we also have Elementor. Um, so on this one, we have Events Calendar Pro and Elementor, the free version. So we're going to go to our pages. And we've created a page here we're going to test out. And we're going to say Edit with Elementor. As we get here, you'll see that we've set up um, our fake little coffee shop and this is from one of the Elementor out of the box templates. But what we want to do on this coffee shop is add a section here with some of our calendar info. So over here on the left, you'll see all of uh, Elementor's widgets. What we're going to do is add a section. And as we get to the bottom of these, you'll see there's a WooCommerce option and various other ones. But you'll see the events calendar now once you have Events Calendar Pro installed alongside Elementor. On this one, I want to go ahead and add a photo view to my coffee shop so people can see upcoming events. So you'll see I'm going to put the calendar in there and I get to choose my view. This one I want to choose photo. And I can choose whether I want to show this events bar or not. This shows the search list. Um, but I can also choose if I want to show featured events uh, like category and keyword. And even if I want to uh, change the format of the date or exactly which styling these have. All without doing any code, I can do this all right within Elementor. Also, if I want to mess with the margins or spacing a little bit, we can do that right in the advanced panel right here. So if we want this one a little closer to the top panel, we can do all of that. Even animate the way that our calendar appears on the page. So that's pretty great with uh, things we can do with uh, adding one of the views, you can do that with month view, list view, really any of the views that come with Events Calendar Pro, you can do that built into Elementor. Another option we have is to maybe we just want to highlight one single event. And with this, we can choose a different event or it'll just pull up our next one immediately. If I wanted to, I can go by um, event ID of the page I'm on or manually enter a page ID. I could also search or do uh, by slug. I can also filter many other ways. What's great about this is we've broken up this widget into all these different pieces. So I can choose what I want to show. So for this one, I can choose title, um, date and time, cost. On this one, I don't really think I want description though. So we're going to go ahead and hide that description. But I want to keep the meta box so people know what's going on down there. Um, and also, if I have advanced fields with Events Calendar Pro, uh, we can make sure that they show up and how they do. So this is everything here. This uh, widget here is full width, but if you want to adjust things, you can always add a new column. And you can see it just goes full width to whatever column you are. So you can adjust this wherever you like. If you just want it in a little sidebar or in a smaller piece of your site, it's uh, really quite flexible. So as we go, Basically, you'll keep using these widgets for whatever you need for this. So we can do our countdown for our events and all the other things. And also, you know, preview what our pages look like on our site. So that's Elementor with uh, Events Calendar Pro 5.4.0. And again, you need Events Calendar Pro and Elementor free or pro version to make this work. And we're really excited uh, to have more and more Elementor compatibility with the Events Calendar. Thanks.